welcome to Mint. I am Kaisar Adajaniya. Morningstar, one of the world's largest mutual fund tracking firms, is hosting its second annual investment conference in Mumbai on the 1st and 2nd of November. We continue our coverage of Morningstar conference and today I have with me over here Joe Mansoato, who is the founder and chairman of Morningstar. Joe, hi, welcome to the show. I want to start by asking you that, you know, it's been about 28 years since you launched Morningstar. Can you tell us, you know, uh, the biggest changes that has happened in the U.S. mutual fund industry since the time that you launched till date? There's been enormous changes in the mutual fund market uh, in the United States since I started. First of all, it's grown tremendously. When I started, it was about $300 billion in assets. Today, it's $11 trillion. Uh, but also, the rise of the financial advisor. Uh, No-load funds, direct sold funds were very popular when I started. Today, 80% of funds are sold through an advisor or an intermediary of some kind. And the other thing I would point to uh, is the rise of passive investing. Passive investing has gone from about 2% of the marketplace to about 25% over the past 15 years. The other thing I wanted to ask you is that um, you know earlier this year, Fidelity Mutual Fund exited India. Um, and there was a lot of uh, you know talk about how the Indian mutual fund industry apparently is not very lucrative for asset managers. But at the same time, you have other asset managers like Schroders and all uh, coming into India as well. So, what is the impression that you get when you talk to global fund managers about how they perceive the Indian mutual fund industry and uh, you know the the scope and the future of it? They definitely are. You know, when I talk to international. Um, fund company executives. There's a lot of interest in the Indian market because they see the long-term potential here. Uh, rising affluence, growing middle class, rising investor class. At the same time, low penetration of mutual funds into households in the single digits. As you have this rising affluence, if the penetration can move up, that could make for a very large uh, marketplace, fund marketplace in India over the long term. And that is of interest to fund it, uh, executives globally. Joe, earlier this year, uh, you know, our regulator SEBI allowed direct plans. So basically, with the uh, effective 1st January 2013, all mutual fund schemes are also going to have a direct plan, which means that investors who, you know, want to invest directly can opt for a cheaper plan in each mutual fund scheme that they want to invest in. What is your opinion about it? Do you think that direct plan should be there or should not be there? Absolutely. You know, I, I think anything that leads to more investor choice is a good thing. Uh, you know, in my mind, this broadens the marketplace. So a lot of investors want to access funds via a financial advisor, but this makes um, uh, funds accessible to more self-directed investors. So it's going to be a bigger audience that is opened up to mutual funds. Uh, so I think that's a very good thing for fund investors. And again, more choice is always good for, for fund investors.